Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Um, I really do appreciate your support um, for my channel. Thank you guys so much for uh, those of you who took the time to read and vote on the poll that I placed. That's been very, very helpful for me. <laughs> it's just nice to have feedback, um, you know, because you just don't know what, what people are looking for. But um, it's nice to know that you guys are just happy to see me do what I love, which is um, sharing um, the creative process, I guess. Um, that's what this has always been about for me. It's just building a community of relationships with other people who enjoy the, the same things that I do. Um, that's always been my goal for this, this channel, and uh, I've made some amazing friendships through it. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So today, let me show you guys what I am working on. I just made um, this little paper clip. This isn't my idea. This was actually G. Kerr. Um, I noticed that, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, she had this little idea, and I just thought, I'm so tired of procrastinating. Um, this is a little altered paper clip pocket. And, you know, in my rustic style, uh, I've just done it in coffee dyed paper with some stamping. And then I just added a vintage button, some little laces. And then back here, I just took some, um, this is like a quilting thread. And I just added some of that kind of balled up in the back. So it kind of, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a bird's nest, I suppose. And then on the back, you can see this will clip. Excuse me, I just saw... Got to add a little bit more glue under here. Um, this will clip to your page, so I think this is just a fantastic idea. Um, check out her channel uh, for the original tutorial on this. Yeah, so this is so you know this is our book page. How cute is that going to be in like a little? nature journal. I just love it. I think it's come out really pretty. Um, so I'll just share the process as I'm making these. Um, I don't know. This one I think I cut it at two inches by four to get my base layer. Um, but I think it would be really pretty to do some long narrow ones as well. Um, see how we get going here. Uh, I've ended up with a little bit of time because Paul is out actually doing some overtime. He's driving the um, guides today. So I've got a little bit of time in here. I'm going to see how long I can last without the air conditioner on, guys, because um, we are in the middle of the day, and I'm going to try my best to do this video without having to have the AC on because it's horrendous when that thing is um, going. So I've cut that strip two inches by four uh, play around with the sizes because, as I said, I think it'd be super sweet to do like a narrow one, like a tall narrow one. So we might try to do that as well. Um, I'm not going to get hung up on measurements because it's such a simple, simple idea. You you can uh, just do what works for you. I'm just going to make a little, a little fold here. I'd say that's about a quarter of an inch. And uh, what we're going to do then is just glue that on three sides, down here and on this one. I've got a bone folder somewhere. There it is. You know, that was so weird. Um, I kind of had, you know, took a step back uh, from crafting for, I'd say, really, I went about a year. No, actually, it was probably closer to a year and a half. And, you know, this was the thing that felt the nicest when I ordered a bone folder over here. Because I had originally thought I would bring my my craft, some of, you know, very minimal selection of craft supplies. Well, what I ended up actually bringing was just a small portion of things to slow stitch. So when I decided, you know, I was going through kind of a bad patch, um after we got on the road for various reasons um 
And, you know, I talked it through with Paul, and I said, I'm just really missing creating. And I had not realized how much it meant to me until that point. Um, I think I kind of got burnt out, which one of you had made a comment. Um, you know, it, it is very easy to burn yourself out. And I think I had, plus the things that had transpired over the last couple of years, personal and in the world, um, I just stepped away from it. But when I ordered um, my first few little supplies and the bone folder come in, oh, it's like it's like my hand had been missing that for the last year and a half. It's just the craziest thing. But if you're a crafter, I'm sure you can relate to it. Uh, so yeah, that was really funny. I was like, oh, oh it's back. <laughs> Even though that's not the original one I've got. I, I think mine over in the UK was going back from the Stampin' Up! days. And, you know, it just becomes like an extension of your arm almost. And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm really missing something here. Oh, that's what it was, my bone folder. <laughs> so, oh, it's just been wonderful having this back. So, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of just carry on, guys. Like I said, this isn't going to be anything too um, specific. This is just having some fun playing around. And I thought it would be nice on this one. That's a very nat you know, natural, rustic. I thought it might be kind of fun. Let me dig through. I want to show you guys my new idea, idea for how to store little bits and pieces. And I think this is super clever, if I do say so myself. Um, this is one of those heavy-duty um, folders that you can pick up. And, you know, I like to be kind of organized. And I'll tell you straight up, when I get my studio, if I ever have another studio, I'm going to do this on a larger scale. So what I've done is I picked up the little baseball, um, what would you, baseball um, card protectors, I suppose. Um, I picked these up, and what I've been doing, this is a kit, you know, I worked at this, the sunflower kit for Angela. And so I had all this extra ephemera. Well, I didn't cut out everything, as you can see, the little labels. The, but I just thought, you know what, okay, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tuck these in various places and um, again with the wildflower I had extra she's so generous with her kits and then these are some butterflies and when I've got time to fussy cut I just think this is brilliant I mean there's probably other people have done it I just hadn't seen it and then what I did back here these are some tags I've um, decoupage, dec yeah, decoupage with the old sewing um, pattern so I've just added those kind of like neutral backgrounds so I can grab them. I'm trying little by little guys I'm trying to get more organized. These are extras. This is going to be coming up soon. This is a freebie from my porch print um, on her Facebook group. Love this. I did this journal in the past and I, I, I'm making myself a bird journal. Because <laughs> I, you know, you have those journals um, that you think, oh, why didn't I keep that? So what I did this week, I sat down and I said, okay, I'm going to go through my favorite creations and I'm going to start a list of what I really wished I had hung on to. And I think I've got about 13 because uh, I've tried to be I've tried to be um, I mean, I think I've got my own style. I hope I do. Um, but I've tried to be varied over the years I've been doing it and so I've got you know kinda like several different ones the one that's gonna be the most difficult probably is gonna be the um, Nick the Booksmith one because there's no really there's no way to just make one uh, of that style journal you've got to buy enough I'll probably end up when I do that project, I'll probably end up having to go through a whole series of of those style journals um, to use up the board that you need because it's all by hand. You know, you're you're building the the journal from scratch out of the um, board that you could purchase from Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, so that's probably going to be my most challenging one and because wow did I get burnt out on make them I love them it's a great course I highly recommend um, Nick the booksmith's course 
Um, I've taken several courses. I would say hers was the best value. Uh, very, very informative. Um, Nick the Booksmith on YouTube. It, for those of you who are new, maybe you haven't heard of her. Um, she is an amazing artist. Um, so if you're looking for a course, I highly recommend that. So back to this. I'm sorry. I'm just, this is it. Paul's gone and my brain is in overtime. <laughs> um, so I am going to make myself a little bird journal out of that. Um, so what I've done is, is I'm trying to break this up by uh, artist. Uh, this is just, I mean, this doesn't even scratch the surface on. These are just kits that I've chosen since I've been in the RV to, to work with. And when I get a studio, if I ever do, my goal, I think, now would be the kits that I want to go back and revisit. I think I'll get them all printed and probably go by artist. Um, I've worked with people in the past that maybe I don't want to go back to, um, but those that I, I go back to time and time again, I think I'll, I'll break it down by artist, like Angela. I'll probably just have a folder for Angela because I love her kits. Um, and there's others um, that I've worked with in the past that, that I will definitely be revisiting. So that is um, how I am trying to stay organized in here. These are some of Angela's butterflies. I love those because I, I think you guys know I absolutely love butterflies. I like little, um, this was a freebie from Artie Mays, and I like these kinds of things to have. In fact, that would be really suited to um, one of these little paper clips, like the memories or field notes. That would just be perfect. I love to have stuff like this. And don't forget that you can um, get these, shrink them down by doing two to a page. So, you know, I know most of you who follow me are very skilled and um, you know all that. But I'm, I, want, I always try to remember those who are just starting out because, wow, when I just started, um, first started it, it's very overwhelming you're not sure well how can I you know I've purchased this kit how can I make use of this in other ways than maybe what I'm just seeing mm. excuse me I just have a sip of uh, tea so there you go guys that's how I'm trying to stay organized um, so that being said let's make a choice here with some of these scrap papers because I think it would be nice to do something with a little bit of color now and I think I'll use this this is some leftover I had from the little journal kit that I did here's a little scrap I wouldn't need much this was an Artie Mays kit I think it's blue butterfly mm, I could be wrong but um, I think I'll use that, and then maybe we'll stamp another image over that. And I'll see if I've got some other little bits from her. I've usually got some butterflies. I'm going to need to actually print... few more. Okay, let's get going here because I am starting to heat up, guys. It's a heating up. Alright, so here's our little piece of paper. Let me just zoom you guys back down here. And we've got it folded. Um, just going to go ahead and get our paper clip. These are the larger paper clips. I haven't tried this technique with one of the small ones but that would be really sweet as well now the other thing you can do is is cut a little notch in it I don't actually have anything that small but if you do that you are going to want to back this um, to cover up that paper clip so you won't have to see that but I'm not going to do it on these Wow, it is it's getting a bit toasty in here, guys. What I might have to do is is pause the video, turn the air conditioner on for 
10 minutes get her get her cooled back down oh yes it's it's getting a little bit toasty we're um we're you know we're still up around a hundred and uh, hundred degrees <clears throat> what we found out for miss miss Daisy is that we can take her out in the evening and um, get her a little bit of exercise and that seems to be making her a lot happier um, <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna actually cut this I was gonna tear it but sometimes I just I just want to cut so that's nice because she really perked up last night we took her out and um, I think she's kind of enjoying socializing with everybody here as well she was just roaming around like she was the queen of the the campground and of course everybody nobody's got animals here um, so she you know she's getting a lot of attention and Daisy likes that she really likes to be center of attention so that's nice it's nice to see her kind of perking up You can probably hear something humming in the background. That's my um, the refrigerator. When it gets really warm, it, it kind of starts making a bit of a noise. I'm not sure sure why. I hope that's all okay. But hey ho. Okay, let me just grab a little <clears throat> butterfly for us. Just thought it'd be nice to do one that's got some color. So let me see what we've got here. Oh gosh. Yep, here we go. These are um, some butterflies I've had in my stash for some time, so I do apologize, guys. I cannot remember where I got these from. I've got butterflies from so many people because I, you know, I love to work with them. I did a little bit of a cleanup um, the other day, and I've put my sewing machine away. And uh, of course, now I'm thinking, oh, I'd really like to stitch. It's always the way. It's always, always the way. That's that's the part I find the most frustrating is when I, you know, when you've got. A place where it's it's set up you can just walk over do what you've got to do and then you're good to go uh oh I'm um, sorry about that I've just knocked that down um, but it's not as easy now I gotta pull it out so I try to get several projects ready so when I pull it out I can um, I can just do it mm, I don't know I'm not really I'm not really feeling it with that one. Hmm, okay, we might have to play around a bit. Hang on, guys, let me just see here. All right, let me just pause this for one second because I'm getting super hot. I'll turn on the AC for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really feeling that. So, I have just taken a little piece of paper and just inked up edges a little bit I think it just needs something and the other thing I just got this um, Tim Holtz um, stencil the other day it kind of it reminds me of um, uh, burlap so I think I'm just gonna stencil just for some a bit more texture on that I hope that's not too much I don't know. Just we'll just go with it. See what happens. That's all you can do. Sometimes they end up in the trash bin, don't they? 
but yeah, I've been itching to do some little projects and um you know going back to I'm sure everybody probably feels the same oh gosh if you spend much time on social media it is a wonderful resource for finding things absolutely it is but uh, if you're not careful all you're doing is sitting there watching other people create and um, you're not getting on with things yourself. That's At least that's the problem I have. Um, so, again, it's breaking things down. And, you know, and the reason I say this is I'm hoping this will help some of you. Uh, I mean, I'm seriously, I've got to just break it down into bite-sized pieces. What am I going to do today? What am I going to do tomorrow? Um, because otherwise... I wake up in the morning and I think, okay, well, I want to, I want to create something in, in my downtime today. Let me, let me go on to Pinterest or let me go on to Instagram or YouTube. And what do you end up doing? Because you know, if you're pressed for time, if you've only got maybe like an hour, you're just going to eat it up on these, um, on these sites. And uh, so that was kind of frustrating for me. Um, and I just thought, no, I'm going to, I've got enough ideas. <laughs> because if you're honest, you're probably the same th as me. You've got ideas for three years or five years worth of ideas. And how many of those have you actually gotten around to doing? Probably not very many. So I just thought, okay, these are the boards I'm going to allow myself to go in and I'm going to really restrict myself on, you know, okay, I've got 10 minutes to find a project and that's what I'm doing. And, and then I just pencil down for a week. That's what I'm going to do that day. That's what I'm going to do because it's the only way I seem to get anything done. So I, I don't know if it's the same for you or not, but I hope that that will help. I was wondering, um, I don't know, I might take this off. I was wondering about wrapping this around. No, I'm not going to do that. If it was a little bit thicker, I could do it. I'm kind of frustrated. I love to put a safety pin for the body of the butterflies. I just think it adds more dimension. But I tried it with a bulb pin the other day, and I, I didn't like the way it looked. So um, I'm going to have to try to find some little pins. <clears throat> I've got all that stuff in lockup. And then this is just a little word and I just thought I'll just put that on there. And then we just got to make a little a little something to go inside. And I think sometimes it's kind of nice to have things hanging over. Just it just adds a, a bit more interest, I think. So, although they are both very much nature, you can just see it's a bit more interesting with the color, although I equally like that one. That's that's my style. All right, so I've just taken another what was left over in that little bit and I'm just going to trim off and just turn this into a small tag. I love projects like this. Oh, oh nuts. I had pulled out some little cheesecloth to go. I wonder if I can get him up. Yeah. I'm going to put just, just for more interest a little bit of this. Um, what was I saying? I love projects like this because they are so relaxing to do. It's just, there's not measurements, although I do like those kind of projects too, but you know what I mean. Sometimes you just think, oh, I just, all I want to do is just sit here and zone out. 
and especially at, like on a day like today because um, you know it's not easy to be in a small space with another person and work together you know so it's really nice when I get these chances um, to be on my own just to just have some fun and not be stressed out about it. Um, I'm just going to use this same, no I won't, I'll go with something a little bit different. I don't have a massive amount of choice on my stamps but I think it's sufficient to, to do what I need to do in here. I'm not, I'm not bothered about getting more um, I think it's very easy because uh, I've got I got quite a few in storage and I'll have them again at some point so I don't want to I don't want to add too much and oh my gosh if you guys could see um, what I've managed to fit into this place already I'm quite pleased with how it's it's all fit in really it's um, surprised me how much I've held, but I'm excited to get back to Florida because I've got a storage unit there, and um, I will be kind of excited to drop some stuff um, because I have, you know, purchased quite a bit, and I don't need to carry all of it with me because I'm just not getting as much time to create as I'd hoped I would. But with working, it's to be expected. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm able to do what I'm able to do. And working again. Because um, I do get quite stressed out if I'm not working. I like working, actually. I, I just I like being productive in the day always have done. Uh, I, I think my best days are when I'm st when I stay busy doing stuff whether that's around the house or working or you know whatever it is I, I, I just I don't like not being productive really really I just don't like it <laughs> so um, but yeah it's kind of nice because I can kind of you know I can make stuff and then if I get when I, when I need to, I just go out and do what, what i got to do on the shift. And then um, I just wish I could leave the stuff out permanently, but that's just not going to happen. Okay, so let me just put... I mean, this is just a very simple version, as you guys know. I mean, you can... Gosh, you, you there's just so much you could do with this. All I'm going to do, same thing I did here. I'm just going to punch a little hole. I'm not going to put an eyelet or anything like that. You obviously can. You can go as as um, elaborate with this as you want. But I I kind of like little simple things. And then if it's um if I need something else, then uh, oh. Daisy's getting a little bit warm, I think. I'll have to turn the AC back on here in a minute. Um, you know, I can I can just get out the supplies and uh, and do something very different. But these, I think, will be a, a nice little... I've never been into the mass production. I know a lot of ladies do it. Um, I don't know. It just isn't my thing. I like... When I'm doing a journal... When I create a pocket or, you know, or put in a pocket, it's then that I'm able to visualize what would look nice in that specific pocket. Um, I don't know. I've just never, ever been able to mass produce. So see, you got that, that little tag. Very simple, but I think it's effective. I, I personally think sometimes you can do too much. And I actually like... That that's poking out over. So again, let me get my little book page. Oh, I love these. Oh, the sweet. Oh, those are just so sweet. And how cute. 
to do one with a little oh okay all right guys just give me a second we're gonna try something different but I need to cool cool this place down because my, my baby's over there huffing and a puffing so I'll be right back Okay guys, I'm back and as per usual, um, as I was waiting for the RV to cool down a bit more, um, we had a camper come in a little bit early so I had to deal with them. And so here I am, I'm back. Um, I have went ahead um, and just made a longer tag because I really think this is such a great little idea. My next one, I'm going to try a, a tiny square one with a side pocket. I think that would be super sweet with a little tab. Um, but I won't be filming that today because it's almost time for me to be back on shift. And people are, uh, they don't read the instructions and they show up early sometimes. <laughs> but I actually don't mind. Uh, everybody's been so friendly. Last weekend we had... Um, a little incident with a group. It was a, a large group of fathers and teenage boys and I tell you what, we had uh, two families come down here complaining to us at about 10 o'clock. See, 10 o'clock is our quiet time and um, we went down there, and I tell you, I never seen nothing like it. It's no wonder the boys were behaving in the manner that they were. Them fathers, none of them wanted to take responsibility for the group. We asked who was in charge of the group, and uh, them boys was playing <coughs> rap music with all kinds of profanity in it. And uh, I don't blame people. They're out here trying to have a good time with their kids, and that guy come up. And he said, I didn't pay this kind of money for to, to put up with this. And I said, absolutely not. So <laughs> Paul and I had to go down there. And I we, Paul said, who's in charge of this group? And do you know not one of them fathers stood up? We couldn't believe it. Finally, one guy said, well, I guess I am. And um, Paul said, hey, you guys got to tone it down. <laughs> That's the only time that we've had trouble, um, and this weekend we've got a, such a really nice group of people. It's not as busy. Um, the 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 school kids can be, you know, kids are kids, but that group was with their dads, and I couldn't believe it. And I thought, boy, I don't hold out a lot of hope for those kids if that's the way their parents behave, drunk. And the next day... The next day, they went out on uh, their rafting trip, and I guess they gave that little girl, she's only, I mean, we got some sweet little guides, they're all young, you know, going to college, and this is how they make their money. They had that poor girl in tears, calling her a B-I-T-C-H, and um, I mean, they were just, and then we went down to their campsite. They took. They went out on their rafting trip at noon, and do you know they'd already been liquored up that morning? And you just think, holy cow, what what chance have those kids got if they see their fathers behaving like that? Um, so yeah, that was. But we knew it was going to come because you know how people can be sometimes. But luckily, that's the only group that I've seen. Um, that we've had to deal with like that and uh, I hope we don't have another one because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. So I made this little tag guys um, ahead of time and these are images from Angela's sunflower kit and that I had left over. How sweet are they? So this was one of her little sayings from the wildflower and I just punched it out because the border around it was in purple. And, of course, that didn't match. So I just punched that part off. So um, what I'm going to do is just kind of do some layering here and just see how it goes. You hear Daisy over there, she's just 
breathing really heavy. I'll, uh, I'll have to call it quits after this one, guys, because it's just too hot to have the AC off. And I'm starting to get another headache. I was so sick the night before it last. We, um, we had had a, a group show, show up, <clears throat> and, um, Paul and I had to set up five tents at three o'clock in the afternoon, and, uh, I think I overheated, and oh my goodness, the night before last, I was some kind of sick. I woke up in the middle of the night just throwing up. And uh, chilled. I was sweating and I had chills. I think it was heat exhaustion. I've never had that happen before. And then I thought, well, gosh, it felt like I'd caught the flu. Um, it was just really weird. But thank the Lord, uh, yesterday, mor yesterday morning I was still sick. Um, but luckily, as the day went on and I had some electrolyte. And I drank that, drank a lot of water yesterday, because um, I know, you know, to stay hydrated, but I can't take that direct sun. And they didn't tell us early enough that the, that we're supposed to set up tents with this job. We didn't know that. And so the people showed up, and they said, well, you guys have got the tents ready, right? And we were like, uh, no, were we supposed to? five tents we had to put up in the middle of the heat and I told Paul I said oh my goodness I can't do this I just can't do it it was 101 degrees and we're out in the sun trying to set these tents up and of course it's like 10 and 11 year old boys standing there watching you you know do it um I would have thought that that was part of the experience for the kids to be putting up the tents and learning how to do these things but I guess not. I don't know. So yeah, I, I'm just today. I'm really trying to um, make sure that I'm not out in that sun because I don't want to end up having a heat stroke or something. It's not worth it to me. <gasps> oh, what fun! I really have enjoyed these guys. Um, again, how sweet on a little page and then you've got this little note you can pull out and write your a tag sorry little tag and then this one I really am loving how that little butterfly came out and you can see what a great scrap buster idea and then this one plain Jane but um, I actually really really like that so there you go hopefully that will give you a closer view really enjoyed that and there's the little coordinating tag for each of them how sweet I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me today. As I said, I'm getting myself a little bit more organized, and I hopefully will be on here uh, more frequently now just doing these things because this is what I do. Every day I try to find a little bit of time to journal or um, create something. So I'm just going to start bringing you guys along, and I hope that you'll get something out of it. Take care of yourselves. Um, and get out there and enjoy what's left of the summer. I can't believe we're almost into August. I'm sure you guys are all saying the same things. Where did it go? <laughs> I just honestly don't know. It's just, just like in a blink. It was. It's come and gone. So um, just enjoy it. And I will see you here very soon. Bye-bye.